Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Destro's Desk. I'm Rob, and on today's episode, I'm bringing to you my top five G.I. Joe classified series figures for 2023. We are just six days away from Christmas Day, and I thought I'd bring to you these top five choices so that if you don't have any of these figures in your collection yet, I'm pretty sure you can still get them, and I hope they'll find their way under your Christmas tree this year. Hasbro has given us about 66 figures in 2023 this year. Many of them have been amazing. Some of them have been pretty good. Some have had some issues. But overall, what Hasbro has given us, I thought, has been excellent, and I've enjoyed collecting them throughout the year. I've chosen to bring these top five to you from the figures that were mainline or regu regular releases over the year. These are not exclusives. They are not uh, Hasbro Pulse exclusives. They are not Amazon or Target exclusives. These are the figures that everybody had an opportunity to get their hands on. And these are the ones to me that stand out from over the year. Okay, so coming in at number five, we have got version two of Firefly. When this figure came out, I was pumped to get this one. There was a version one that wasn't quite as popular, but this one is definitely one I had to have. Um, everything about this guy from head to toe looks very well done. Um, from the camo gray colors on, on the, the whole body outfit, the head sculpt, the goggles, the backpack with his remote control car, everything stores on there. The remote control car for his uh, landmines that he can uh, drop wherever he needs to. Um, he's got his machine gun there. He's, he's got the knife on his uh, forearm. And we got another uh, gun in the holster on his right side there. Overall, just a fantastic figure. Now this figure did have some quality issues and it almost didn't make my top five. But I had to have it in there because it was just such a great figure. Um, the issues were that a lot of people have had, including myself, the upper torso is loose. Around the waist it's loose, the ab crunch is loose, and it's just very floppy on, on the, the top half there. So unfortunately, that happened. Um, I know there's people out there that got some that said there was no issues at all. Um, but overall, it's a great figure, and it's definitely one that uh, looks fantastic on the shelf with the other figures. So basically, that is number five, version two of Firefly. And coming in at number four, I've got G.I. Joe Torpedo. Now this guy, right from the first pictures that I had seen before he came out, I thought this guy is gonna be amazing, and it really, really was. Um, this was basically a whole new sculpt they had to do from head to toe to uh, make it look like Torpedo in his wetsuit. Um, the head sculpt was really well done. The face, the, like the facial expression and how the, the head sculpt and the facial sculpt there, they did an excellent job with that. Also the tubes, the air tubes into the, the backpack there, uh, his weapons, he's got the harpoon gun, he's got a knife over here in the sheath. And he's got those big flippers. Um, but like I said, head to toe, this guy just looks amazing. Definitely a great figure to have in the collection. It, it's, a, it's a must have just because it is a little bit different with that, uh, with that new sculpt. And I just thought that this guy just looked absolutely phenomenal. And definitely was gonna be on my top five list for sure. So there is number four. We've got Torpedo. And then coming in at number three, this is probably one of my favorites by far. Ever since I first got this figure, I thought for sure this is going to be in a top five list for sure. Um, I'm talking about rock and roll. So this rock and roll figure, I thought they did an outstanding job. Um, this is one of the originals. This is uh, rock and roll was one of the first uh, three and three quarter inch figures that came out. Uh, by Hasbro back in the 80s, the very early 80s. And this version that they've created for him, I thought just looked amazing. Um, from the head sculpt with the hair, the facial expression, the beard, 
I thought the head sculpt was just amazing, fantastic looking. Um, the helmet that they sculpted for him is really well done. It fits on his head perfectly. There's lots molded into the helmet. There's some paint apps on there. So they did a really good job with that. Um, they also started doing tattoos and I believe this was the first figure in the line that uh, has these tattoos now on the arms, which I think look amazing. Really well done there. We had some extra hands come with this guy. A lot came with them. We've got his signature looking machine gun there. Same style of weapon that he had with his original figure. Um, we've got a walkie talkie or a radio on his belt there. We've got a pistol on his hip. Um, lots of bullets on this guy. He's got bullets all over him. Um, but just a fantastic job. And this is definitely one that sits right front and center on my shelf because uh, it just it's just a beautiful work of art, if you ask me. So that's number three on my list. We've got rock and roll. And then coming in at number two, this one. Also, from the minute I unboxed this figure, I thought for sure this is going to be up there for one of the best figures of the year. And I'm talking about the Cobra Snow Serpent. So they definitely did not cut any corners with this guy. This is actually a heavy figure. This has got some weight to it. There's a lot that goes on this guy. This was a deluxe figure. So the Snow Serpent came with this really well done, probably a wolf pelt there as a, uh, as a bit of a cape or warmth in the, uh, up in the Arctic. We've got that wolf headdress that uh, sits over the figure's head. We've got different guns. He comes with a bazooka. Um, we've got the backpack. He's got the rockets in there. Now we did see the this backpack, the rockets and the bazooka with bazooka, but so they did reuse that for this guy, but uh, that's okay. Um, we've got snowshoes. He also came with a snowboard. This guy had a ton of accessories and I just thought it was very, very well done. They also had to uh, come up with some new sculpts on uh, on this figure from head to toe, and I thought that uh, they did a really, really good job. So this guy has got the headdress. We've got, uh, there's goggles that uh, can go over his face. He's got the weapons, poses really well. So as I said, this, this figure is definitely gonna be up there in the top five for sure because it just overall, it just is a great looking figure. So that is number two in my top five list for 2023, we've got the Snow Serpent. And here it is to round up the top five. Here is number one. I'm talking about the Dreadnoughts and I'm talking about Ripper. This guy just came out in uh, the last wave right here at the end of the year and man, what a great, amazing, fantastic figure they came out with to, for Ripper. This guy is just awesome. Right from the head sculpt, like the hair, the mohawk, the beard. It just looks so great. The glasses actually stay on him. You see what he looks like without the glasses. Just awesome. Great eyes, eyebrows, everything there that's, that's shown. The glasses do stay on him. Buzzer. Would have maybe been in this list, but uh, his glasses just was an epic fail. So they don't stay on. So uh, so he didn't make the cut here. But overall, I mean, we've got the, the harness on the top here holding grenades. He's got his big knife sheath on there for his, his giant knife. We've got the Jaws of Life, or as Dreadnoughts probably call it, the Jaws of Death. What an outstanding mold they did for that sculpt for that weapon. Really, really well done. He's got this handgun that uh, was, is original to this figure. He's got his big machine gun on his back there with the blade and that hooks on to uh, to his back there. Kind of wish he came with a, with a backpack. We're used to seeing Ripper with a backpack, but uh, this one didn't. We, there is some out there we can get for him, but, uh, but he didn't come with one. Um, but he's got the wallet chain there. But man, like top to bottom, this guy just looks outstanding. I, I really, again, when I opened this guy up, I was like, this is probably figure of the year because uh, I have nothing bad to say about it. The, the, 
the articulation's perfect. The joints are all really well done. Um, nothing's loose, nothing's too tight. Everything is just awesome with this guy. So I really don't have anything bad to say about this one. He's definitely front and center, kind of with rock and roll as uh, right on the front of my shelf. So this is definitely one that uh, I enjoy looking at. So there you go. We've got the Dreadnox Ripper. So that's my top five G.I. Joe classified figures for 2023. Let me know what you guys think. You guys might not agree with me at all. You might agree with me a bit. Let me know in the comments. What's your top five? I would really like to know. There's a ton of them out there this year that can, a lot of them could be in the top fives or top tens. Um, these are the ones that just kind of spoke to me, the ones that uh, I really enjoy. I enjoy looking at them, posing them. I thought they stood out above the rest and I couldn't be happier with these guys. So like I said, if you don't have any of these guys yet and you're not sure about them, Definitely get them on that Christmas wish list because you definitely want to have these guys in your collection. So there is my top five figures for 2023 here on Destro's desk. Destro thinks these are awesome. I think they're awesome. And I couldn't be happier to have them. So like always guys, please subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing here. If you enjoyed this video, I really appreciate it. There's always going to be more videos coming and lots coming out in 2024. Guys, if you like what you saw, if you like what I'm doing, hit that like button and please hit that bell so you know exactly when this and all my other videos are uploaded and ready for you to watch. So I just want to end this and say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I hope everybody has a great day. Christmas and I hope that 2024 is amazing for you. So guys, take care and take care of each other. Happiness in 2024.